The word energy derives from Greek which appears for the first time in the work Nicomachean Ethics of Aristotle, in the 4th century BCE. The concept of energy emerged from the idea of vis vivo which Leibniz defined as the product of the mass of an object and its velocity squared. He believed that total vis vivo was conserved. To account for slowing due to friction, Leibniz claimed that heat consisted of the random motion of the constituent parts of matter of view shared by Isaac Newton, although it would be more than a century until this was generally accepted. Miley Marquise du C. H. Tellet in her book Institutions de Physique, published in 1740, incorporated the idea of Leibniz with practical observations of Gravesandy to show that the quantity of motion of a moving object is proportional to its mass and the square of its velocity. In 1802 lectures to the Royal Society, Thomas Young was the first to use the term energy in its modern sense instead of vis viva. In the 1807 publication of those lectures, he wrote, Gustave Gaspard Coriolis described kinetic energy in 1829, in its modern sense, and Indiana 1853, William Rankine coined the term potential energy. It was argued for some years whether energy was a substance or merely a physical quantity. The development of steam engines required engineers to develop concepts and formulas that would allow them to describe the mechanical and thermal efficiencies of their systems. Engineers such as Sadi Carnot, physicists such as James Prescott Joule, mathematicians such as Meil Clapeyron and Hermann von Helmholtz, and amateurs such as Julius Robert von Mayer all contributed to the notion that the ability to perform certain tasks, called work, was somehow related to the amount of energy in the system. In the 1850s, Glasgow professor of natural philosophy William Thomson and his ally in the engineering science William Rankine began to replace the older language of mechanics with terms such as actual energy, kinetic energy, and potential energy. William Thomson amalgamated all of these laws into the laws of thermodynamics, which aided in the rapid development of explanations of chemical processes using the concept of energy by Rudolf Clausius, Josiah Willard Gibbs and Walther Nernst. It also led to a mathematical formulation of the concept of entropy by Clausius and to the introduction of laws of radiant energy by Joe F. Stefan. Rankine coined the term potential energy. In 1881, William Thomson stated before an audience that Thank you for watching.